me, girl, that you're not that kind And you're just looking to dance tonight Next thing we know, you're back at mine And you're telling me, turn the lights out Go! <laughs> I'm very good at videoing myself. do recommend you go to Africa if you ever get the chance. However, there is a slightly different side to it. On the first day whilst I was working in the hospital, I saw my first ever live birth. When the nurse told me both the father and the mother were HIV positive, the father had heard rumours that if the mother carried on taking her HIV medication, then they would lose the baby. Subsequently, she stopped, and the first natural birth I ever saw in Tanzania resulted in a child with HIV. The mother obviously faced complications due to the HIV virus taking its toll. I'm not quite sure what happened to her. The child did survive, but it's going to have a crippling illness for the rest of its shortened life. And what I must make clear is the parents did nothing wrong in this situation. They did what they believed was right for their child. They didn't know that would happen. This child is born with HIV due to a lack of education. I saw time and time again how a lack of education is killing people in Africa. It's a huge problem and one I know I can't do that much to help, but together, people really can make a difference. On May the 18th, I'm running the Heroes vs. Villains 10k for Pass It On Africa. Links to my Just Giving page down there. Pass It On Africa are all about providing education to the poorest areas in Africa. Links to all their efforts are down there as well. So yeah, donate some money and come out May the 18th to see me wearing some very stupid clothing and a lot of makeup.